Hello everybody, in today's tutorial we are going to be learning how to do the basket weave stitch. Now this stitch is perfect for blankets, it's perfect for cowls and scarves, seeing as in the UK now it's, it's getting a bit autumn like. So grab yourselves a cup of tea, grab your yarn and let's get making. So for this tutorial you are going to need your yarn so I am just using some Bernat or Bernay however you want to say it blanket stripes that the lovely Rini sent me in my yarn swap box you also need a corresponding crochet hook so I have got my clover um, this one is eight millimeters and also some scissors or a yarn cutter and I've got my clover yarn cutter pendant. Here I will leave links for all of these down below in the description box if you want to grab yourselves any. So let's start making. So to start off with we are going to start with the usual slip knot. If you don't know how to do a slip knot I shall leave a link in the card section above. Now for this um, I'm just going to do a sample piece but for yours what we're going to do is we're going to chain in multiples of eight and then do an extra seven on the end so as long as eight goes into the amount that you've changed so if you're doing a blanket or a scarf um, so just chain in multiples of eight until you get to the length that you need for your project I've got yarn stuck on me and then add an extra seven so one two three four five six seven eight so i'm just going to chain another eight because this is just my sample piece so one two three four five six seven eight so this is the length of mine. This would be a really good length if you um, want to make like a scarf or a cowl or something similar. So now I've changed my, chained my eight, I need to chain another seven. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven so what we're going to do is we're going to start by treble crocheting in every stitch along so if you're in the US that is a double crochet now this is so this is your foundation chain and then I tend to do a thing what I call a foundation row so this row is not um, counted as part of the pattern it just gives like a really nice edge when you've finished so you want to find the second chain from the hook sorry the third chain from the hook so we're not counting this one this is our first here our second and we're going to go into our third if i can find it and we are just going to treble crochet into every stitch until we get to the end. So 
So if you want to pause the video and I shall meet you back when you've got to the end of your row. So I'm just coming into the last few stitches of my round. So there I have treble crocheted into every stitch along starting in the third chain from the hook. Now what you want to do now is chain two and then we're going to turn over our work. Now the basket we've stitched uses front um, post crochet and back post crochet. So a front post we go, so instead of working into the top of the stitch here like you normally would, we're doing trebles and we're just going to go like so and a back stitch you want to go round this way so I'll do that again because the back post sometimes people get a bit confused with so you want to yarn over and go round the back and the front post we're going this way. So what we're going to start off by doing, so we're not going to work into this stitch, we've just chained two, this is going to give us a really nice neat edge. So we're going to do four front post trebles or doubles if you are in the US. So one and into the next one. two, three, and four. And now we've done those four, we're going to go and do four back post trebles. So you want to yarn over, go round. Sometimes this one's a bit trickier. And remember, this is a UK term, so if you are in the US, these are doubles round the back and just check that you are working into the next stitch because it is quite easy to miss a stitch in these As you can see, those stitches have gone towards the back, whereas these ones are towards the front. So now what we're going to do is four front posts. So one. three and 
and four and then we're just going to continue along so the next one is four back posts so we're going this way one two I've got my usual yarn problem again. You wouldn't think I'd have it. And four. And then if you notice you've got we've got four stitches left so we're going to do four front posts so it matches the four front posts on this end otherwise if you that's why I add that extra seven because otherwise you're going to have uh, start with front posts and then end with back posts but, and I think it looks better if you end with the same stitch so one two three and four And as you can see, you have two chains at the very end, and we're gonna do a half treble or a half double, if you're in the US, into the very top of that second chain. So it's just yarn over as if you're doing a normal treble or double, and just pull all three, through all three. So this is what your work should look like at the moment. So what you want to do now is just chain two, so one, two, and then turn your work. And this time around, we're gonna do the opposite so it keeps with the pattern it will all become clear I know that sounds really confusing but I promise you it will all become clear so on this row we want to start with back post so one two, three, and four. What I'll do quickly now is I'll turn it round so you can see why we started with back post. So it keeps That's in keeping with how the row before is, but the next row we do, 
we're gonna swap round. So we'll just carry on with this row for now because I don't want to confuse you. And now we're gonna do four front posts. So one, two, three, Have I gone wrong somewhere? I've done two and one. That's how easy it is, people. So check where you're putting your stitches. Prime example. This is what it's looking like at the moment. When I first saw this stitch, I thought you had to turn it. So like kind of, I don't know, I thought you had to turn it sideways. So this was like the side, like and work it on the side, but you don't. It's just a piece of magic, this stitch. And then we're gonna go and we're gonna do four back stitches. So if you want to pause the video now, and keep going with that sequence until you get to the second to last stitch of the end here. So you should be finishing on back posts. Um, and I will meet you here and I will show you how to turn your work and how to do the next round. So I'm just about to do my last back post, treble or double if you are in the US. And again, we're just gonna half treble into the top of this chain two. So yarn over, insert your hook if you can find it. I do love this Bernat yarn, but sometimes it's difficult to see, there we go. So yarn over and just pull through all three, like so. Then we're gonna chain two and we're gonna turn our work. So this is what your work should be looking like at the moment. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna spice things up a bit and we're gonna do the opposite for the next two rows. So let me grab some yarn because no doubt it will run out. So we've chained two, which is this stitch here. And we're gonna move on to this stitch, the second stitch along. And we're going to start with back post. So round the back. And through. And round the back. Two. Oh, this yarn is so fluffy. It's lovely. Thanks, Rini, for sending it to me. I absolutely love it. And four. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do front post on the next four. So, one, two, went the wrong way then, three, and four. It's because I'm in that crochet zone where my head just like, I just go off into my own little world. 
So that's what that row should look like. As you can see, it's starting to look like a basket weave. Honestly, it's magic. And then as these ones are front, we're going to do back posts. So you want to work that all the way until the end. So you want to do your four back posts and four front posts and four back posts and four front posts until you get to the end of the round. So just pause the video now and I shall meet you back at the second stitch to the end of your round. So I am just coming to the second stitch from the end. So I just need to do one more back post. She says. And then I'm just gonna half treble into that second chain. This is what it is looking like at the moment. It is so pretty, I love it. And this yarn is just amazing. I keep saying that, I'm really sorry. <laughs> so chain two, and this is the second repeat, sorry, the second row of this repeat. So we're gonna do front stitches. Front post. And front post. And another front post. And our final and fourth front post treble. And then we're going to move on to back post. And then the next show is front post and then back post and then front post. So if you want to pause the video now and I shall meet you when we get to the end. So I'm just reaching my final stitch of this round. And again, we're just going to half treble or half double into that top of that chain too. And this is what your work should be looking like. Let me move back. It's because this yarn's so chunky. <laughs> so then you just want to keep repeating that. So chain two and turn your work. And so we're back to a new um, repeat. So, cause we've done two rows the same. So now we want to start with front posts. So if you want to just keep repeating that all the way until your piece is the size that you want it to be. It is really, really easy, but it is so pretty and so effective. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked this video. You can always find me on Instagram and on WordPress. Don't forget to check out Crochet Beginners Group if you're on Facebook and you're not met yet a member. We have over 93,000 members from all over the world with a Welsh, Welsh? wealth of crochet knowledge and lots and lots of beginners as well. Also, don't forget to check out our merchandise store. I will leave the link below. All profits are going to two charities, which is Mind UK and the American Foundation. The Prevention of Suicide. So thank you for watching and I will see you on Wednesday for a mini project.